Hello, scrapbookers. This is Megan, and I am back today playing along with my friend Anna, who owns the shop Peacecraft Love, and I am using the Crepe Paper Hello Love collection today for a fun and oh-so-romantic Valentine's Day layout. So this is kind of a sarcastic layout because this year for Valentine's Day, I was, I think, three days post-surgery and I was not doing great. <laughs> and so I thought it would be kind of funny to use this older collection and do like a really very pink and lovey-dovey layout, but have it be like, oh, this is super funny. We went to my doctor for our romantic date. <laughs> so here is where I am just cutting up all the pattern papers that I wanted to use. So this sketch called for a couple of layers behind the photos. And what I decided to do was, <clears throat> excuse me, make them full length. And I apologize if you can hear that upstairs above me. One of my kids is vacuuming, of course, because, you know, I'm recording. So something has to be going on. But um, so I chose three different pattern papers from the collection and I just cut off like a, a couple inches um, to glue down there at the bottom and have that kind of be like the base of my layout. Then I am going to or I did already pick out three different pattern papers to make three different embellishment clusters. And I cut those out into circles. The sketch calls for scalloped circles. I don't have a scalloped circle and I didn't really feel like pulling out my silhouette and doing a scalloped circle. So I just used what I had. So I used these two different sizes of Fisker's punches and they worked out great. So now I'm just going to glue down each one of these circles in the three areas that are going to be my clusters. And this layout was super easy and fun to make. I, I don't remember how long it took me, but really I want to say it only took me like 40 minutes maybe. And it's super fun when a layout doesn't take that long. The one part that did take a super long time, which is towards the end of the layout and it probably won't show up in the process just because it did take so long was I did do um, glue down a bunch of sequins around all of the circles to emphasize the embellishment clusters. Also, I've been trying to use up my bling. So sequins and gems and flare, just everything I'm trying to actually use at least one of those things on every layout these days. So here I am using my, I think this is Blossom Close to My Heart ink, and I am just inking the edges of all of these circular papers and the edges of the photo mats as well. And I really like how that turns out. Sometimes I forget to do this before I glue them down, but it's super easy just to pull them back up. And it just kind of adds a little depth onto those circles which I then cover up with the sequins. That's kind of funny. I didn't even notice that. You can't really even see it <laughs> because I do add the sequins, but that's okay. It's kind of like with mixed media, how you do your mixed media on your background and then you end up covering most of it up anyway. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Okay, now I am going to put down the title and... Like I said, this is a sarcastic layout, so the title is very sarcastic, and I'm just going to name it, Oh, the Romance. And then I haven't actually done any journaling yet, but I think I will do some journaling um, to the left of the photos there. I will probably add that after the fact, though, and just kind of talk about how this year... We went to my doctor's office to have a post-op appointment after my life endangering surgery. <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, yeah, it was a very eventful uh, week before that. So, yeah. 
So I did find this rub-on set and I don't remember who it's from, but it's pretty old. It's probably like five years old maybe. And I am actually going to use it, but it's not going to work. Like I am going to rub this so hard and it is not coming off no matter what I use. And I'm using like metal objects and things and it's not coming off, but it kind of left like a little something. And so I'm trying to just at least get the out outline of the word Valentine on there. And you can kind of see it. You'll have to look at the photos at the end of the layout and see if you can see it. I can see it here just as I'm looking at my layout, but that's because I know it's there. You know, like if you look at the photos and you or at this layout and you didn't know that it was supposed to be there, I kind of wonder if you wouldn't even think anything of it. So that was kind of frustrating that that didn't work, but oh well. Now here I am putting in one of these little gems that is a Brad, and I put that in two of the clusters. I only had two of the pink color. And then in the third cluster above the photo on the right, what I'm going to put is I'm going to put a little gold heart along with the, the off-white heart the fabric heart and then the love you, um, which I haven't actually pulled that embellishment out yet. There's going to be another heart right between Mark and I on the photo. So that is going to be my cluster of threes on this layout. And now I am just gluing down the title because these alphas had no stick to them whatsoever. I was surprised when I set them down on the layout. They just kept moving around and it was driving me insane. So I'm using my um, zig pen glue pen to glue those down. Now here I am using my Sweetwater Spiegel Mom Scraps sequin mix. And this is a new mix that I just got. And I'm so excited and I absolutely love how this turns out. So I'm going to start gluing these down and then I think I'm going to stop because I get kind of bored doing that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm going to add a couple more embellishments. So you can see here I am just starting with that top right cluster by the photos and I'm just putting it around the edge of all of the circles. Okay, so now here I came back and it's the next day and you can see that I have put together all of the sequins around all of the embellishments or clusters and now I am just trying to embellish just a little bit more. I didn't want to add too much more, but there is that love you little heart that I told you about that I add in right there between Mark and I on the photo. And then there is this February 14th little tag that I wanted to make sure to add. I did contemplate adding a little bit more embellishment around that February 14th tag, but in the end, I decide not to. So I am just kind of um, going through all of my embellishments and then that is going to be it for my layout thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this process